What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. So this is part three. If you haven't watched part two and, and one, go down below, check them out, then come back and finish up here. So we created a video, we went out, we found a fishing video. Alright, cool. Got it on the computer. We got it edited, we got it rendered. Now what do we do? First off, we have got to go to Canva.com or if you have Photoshop or something, that's cool. And you, you can sign up for free on here. So we're gonna go to create a design. Go down here to YouTube thumbnail. And here we're going to basically make a thumbnail. So here's some of the thumbnails I've made before. Give you the rundown. This is one I did with the braided line. And you basically take a picture from your video or take a picture before anything, just any kind of picture that goes with your video that isn't clickbait. And then you come into Canva, edit it. You can add text, just like this. You just add text and make you a good thumbnail for your video. Now there's plenty of tutorials out there on YouTube for this. This is just how to do it. I'm not going in depth. You want me to go in depth, leave a comment down below. Then you go over here to YouTube. You got you an account everything's set up on the account you're ready to rock and roll you want to hit this plus and hit upload video come in here you select your files we go to Turner fishing videos if we wanted to the big bass tour Lake Murray and then you want to create a title now you know you don't want a title that says catching catfish on Santee. I mean that's not really gonna work too good. I mean you want something catchy like you know striper fishing on Lake Murray is I mean you, you're saying what you're doing but at the same time you need to like make something pop. I mean a title and a thumbnail is the first thing people see when they see your video so you gotta have something on there that's like wow man I want to watch this video. So instead of catching catfish on Santee, be like, you know, catching huge catfish. And unless you caught small ones in your video, don't be putting huge on some small fish. Huge catfish with cut bait on Lake Murray. Or something like that just a bigger title and you know it narrows it down what you're doing in the video so people can find it you know I see a lot of a lot of fishing youtubers like caught them today on Lake Murray or let's see monster catfish call or something like that I mean th those may get views but you want to describe what your video is about in your title and your description if that makes sense I mean everything in these keywords I mean pe what people search for on YouTube is what matters now that's a whole different video we can go in depth on that leave a comment down below which you probably won't because it's a fishing channel so you know if you want me to go in depth on how to create a title and description and keywords and all that because it helps you tremendously on getting views if you got a channel you're uploading videos and you're only getting 500 or 1,000 views, <clears throat> that's because people aren't finding your content. So you need to work on your titles, your description, and your thumbnails. So description, you basically <clears throat> take your title and you want to tell it about it in the description. So if you're catching monster catfish on Santee Cooper, you know you want to tell in your title or in your description hey guys welcome back to the channel or something like that you know today we went out on Santee Cooper South Carolina we were using such and such bait and we we hung some massive catfish and I hope you enjoyed the video blah 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 you know just I mean you got a 5,000 characters in your description to word this whole thing out all right now you get your thumbnail however you created your thumbnail earlier that's what you want to upload here so playlist you can create a playlist for your channels you get on here you click show more come down here and you can add your tags tags are really not important 
but I'm not saying that they don't help. And tags are just generally like long keywords or short keywords. Like if you're catching massive catfish on Santee Cooper, you know, that could be a whole tag, catching massive catfish on Santee Cooper. And then you could trim it down to massive catfish caught, massive catfish Santee Cooper, Santee Cooper catfishing, etc. So you get all that done. <clears throat> then you want to click next. You want to go all the way to visibility, which I'm not going to do on this video because it's going to save it as a draft and I'm going to have to delete it. Because I can't even click off of it now. But anyway. Uh, on your visibility you can choose when to upload it you know you're not monetized so you can public it right away not have to worry about monetization checks if you're a new youtuber now if you're over a thousand subscribers I suggest you upload it an hour before uh, you expect the video to go live if you're doing it the same day like today this video goes live today part one goes live today and it's 4 16 my videos come out at 6 p.m. so I got like 45 minutes to edit part one, upload it, get a thumbnail. Anyways, that's the entire process of creating a video, editing the video, making a thumbnail, and uploading a video. That's, that's every part of how to make a YouTube video. Create, edit, thumbnail, upload. You know, and you could put a part five as keyword research. A lot of times I like to use tools like TubeBuddy to do keyword research so I can make videos that people actually search for. <clears throat> a lot of YouTubers, and I'm, I'm bad about it myself, you stick to one type of video, one type of lake, one type of something. You need to be broader. You know, I want to teach you how to catch crappy, whether I'm on Lake Murray, Lake Greenwood, Lake Fork, Lake uh, Cherokee, anywhere. So, me making a video based on where I'm at can only get so many views from local people around here trying to steal your spots. But if I can make a, a what they call a green video that can be watched by everyone, that's the video that's going to get views. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this series. If you want me to talk more about YouTube, please let me know. And hit the sub button for me. Hit the thumbs up. And I'll catch you on the next one.